So welcome to part 3 of the sculpting series. In the first two tutorials we basically went over some sculpting uh, theory and we created this base mesh. So in this tutorial uh, I'm going to start sculpting with these brushes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to sculpt subdivide my mesh again. Creates the sculpting tag. Gonna add a few more levels of subdivision like this. I think five should do it. Right. So the most commonly used brush in sculpting will be this brush here. It's called a pool brush. And I'm just going to run through some of the settings in this brush. So firstly, we've got these uh, three very important settings, link size, pressure and symmetry up here. Now these are important because if you check link size, basically all these brushes are going to take the settings from this brush. And this is very useful, especially if you're dealing with symmetry. You don't want to keep going into every single brush and turning on symmetry. You just want to do it once and then that's it. So I'm just going to link symmetry and even link pressure, that's fine. Now when I come over to this object you'll notice this uh, orange circle and this is basically the brush size and uh, if you look in the middle you'll see a curve and that is actually the fall off curve. So that is basically this curve continued inside of the orange icon which is pretty clever. So if I adjust this fall off that uh, you'll notice that orange curve changes as well. I'm just going to reset that. Go back to settings. Now, uh, making a brush stroke is very simple. You just simply click and drag. And that basically pulls out the geometry. If you want to push the geometry, just hold down control. And now we're basically indenting or pushing. And the, the middle mouse is very useful as well. So if I just click middle mouse and drag sideways, that does the brush size, like this. And if I move up and down while holding down the middle mouse, that will do pressure, which is that uh, line with the circle. So that is pressure. You can see it moving on the right hand side there. And if you hold down shift, you can actually smooth uh, the brush stroke. So that is quite handy because it kind of uh, stops us from having to go to the actual smooth brush which is located here, the iron. So I'm just going to increase the pressure, oops, like that, then hold down shift to smooth these bumps, and you can see it's smoothing. Increase the pressure here. So no need to really go over to smooth. Now, as I mentioned, there's a symmetry option, which is something you'll want to set at the beginning. So you'll want to check link symmetry and then come here to the symmetry tab and you'll want to choose a symmetry plane. So I'm just going to try YZ, XYZ here and that is not the symmetry I need. So I'm just going to uncheck that. Uh, it's not this one either. And this is it. Basically any um, change I apply to this side, I want it to map it over to the other side. So if I just kind of draw a brush stroke here, it uh, automatically maps to the other side. And now, because I uh, set link symmetry, if I come to another brush, say knife, that's automatically picking up the same symmetry options as well, which is very handy. I'm just going to undo these strokes. Now lastly, um, if I just go back to the pool brush in settings, we've got these FX options. And these are actually very cool. Um, if I just choose FX for the size brush here, we've got this, all these kind of different options. Um, I'm just going to choose distance and choose a curve like this, just a linear curve. Now, if I hit OK and then draw a brush stroke, you'll notice that the brush stroke is now tapering. It gets smaller depending on distance. can do draw direction, some randomness, and now we've got these kind of strange little effects. 
So I'm not going to go through every single FX option, but just so you know they exist. So now that we learned about the brush basics, in the next lesson I can actually start to begin sculpting my uh, 3D object. So uh, that's the end of part 3, and uh, thanks for watching.